Now let's do set number 37, Mathematics. Number one, an auditorium that holds 350 people currently has 150 seated in it. The question here is, what part of the auditorium is full? 150 na mga tao ang nandun. So, ang numerator natin ay 150. Yung kabuuhan ng auditorium, yan yung denominator natin na 350. 150 over 350 i-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor niya ay 50. So, i-divide natin ng 50. 150 divided by 50 is 3. 350 divided by 50, 7. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 over 7, letter C. Number 2. Third grade student, Stephanie Wink, goes to the school nurse's uh, office where her temperature is found to be 98 degrees Fahrenheit. What is her temperature in degrees Celsius, given ang formula? So, C is equals to 5 over 9. Ang Fahrenheit natin ay 98 minus 32. So, 5 over 9, doon muna tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. 98 minus 32 and that is 66 so 5 times 66 and that is 330 over 9 so 330 divided by 9 and this one is 327 660 this is 654 6.6 6. so 666 6, 6 na lahat I-round off natin into tens kasi nasa tens siya. So, 6 yung nasa right side niyan. This is 36.7. Letter B. Number 3. The temperature recorded at 8 a.m. is 30 degrees Celsius. What is the equivalent of this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? Given naman ang formula. So, i-fill in lang natin. 9 over 5 30 degrees plus 32. Ito muna ang isolve natin. There are two ways to do this. Ito, gawin mo siyang 6. 30 divided by 5, and that is 6. 6 times 9, 54. 54 plus 32 is equals to 86. So, letter C ang sagot. Or, i-multiply mo yan. That is... 27, 0. So, 270 divided by 5. 270 divided by 5 plus 32. 270 divided by 5, that is 54. 54 plus 32 is equals to 86. Number 4. If Tori donates 2,100 pesos to charitable organizations each year, and one-third of that amount goes to the local crisis center. How much of her yearly donation does the crisis center get? So, just one-third of 2,100. So, one-third of 2,100 equals yan na yung sagot natin. So, ang of ay multiplication, then 2,100. 2,100 over 3, and this is 700. Para mas madali, shortcut lang, i-divide mo lang ng itong 2,100, divide mo lang ng 3, that is 700. Number 5, a construction job calls for 2 and 5, 6 tons of the sun. 4 trucks, each Filled with three and a three fourth tons of sands. Four, three fourth. Arrive on the job. Is there enough 
sand or is there too much sand for the job? So, ito yung mga choices. First, i-multiply natin ito. Ito daw yung apat na truck. Tapos, kada truck mayroong 3 fourth tons. So, i-multiply mo lang yan. This is 12 over 4 or 3 tons. Ngayon, a construction job calls for 2 and 5, 6 tons. So, i-minus mo lang siya. Ito yung uh, dumating. So, mas marami ang dumating. I-minus mo lang si 2 and 5, 6 tons. So, paano mag-minus ng mga fraction? Dapat pareho sila ng denominators. So, itong 3, gawin nating 2. Ang isang 1 dyan ay gawin nating 6 over 6. In other words, si whole number na 3 ay pareho lang sa 2 and 6 over 6. Minus 2, 5 over 6. So, dito tayo sa fraction. Kopyahin ang denominator na 6. Then, ang numerators, 6 minus 5 equals 1. Ang mga whole numbers natin, 2 minus 2 equals 0. So, ang sagot dito ay sobra ng 1, 6. Hanapin natin sa mga choices dito. There is not enough sand. So, mali na yan. Yung mga not enough, mali na yan. Dito tayo sa letter C. There is one third ton more than, uh, more sand than is needed. Mali din kasi hindi one third. Kundi, sobra tayo ng one six. So, ang sagot dito ay letter D. Yung one six. There is one six ton more sand than is needed.